Hello everyone, welcome to another Infinite Magic Raid video. Today I'm going to be reviewing a very special team to me. This team is special because uh, they help me rank higher on guild boss fights. So the reason I rank higher is not because this team does more damage than any other team, no. But this team, like, let me just show you my ranking. At the moment, you can see... We just want egg. The only people that are ranking ahead of me are those that fought this boss multiple times. Uh, yeah, so this guy above me is, I guess, his own team also seems to work quite well. So you see that I am on 228 million, and you can see that there are other people. There's another person on 228 million. You can see this fellow, Hag Exist, is on 228. I am on 228. Trash boat is on 228. But the reason why I'm ranking ahead of Axis is because my team is able to finish Guild Boss 5 much faster, or maybe not much faster, but basically faster than Axis team is able to. The only thing, the only thing is that Axis team is able to do Guild Boss level 6 as well. You can see Axis is at the top here. I believe this is the exact same team on 5 and 4 yes that's the same team so this team does well on 5 and 4 basically this team is able to one shot both 5 and 4 or do well on both 5 and 4 but the difference is that on 5 it is not as fast as some other teams you can use at least my team cannot do 6 <laughs> this team get destroyed after 10 turns on 6 but yeah but can do 5 much faster you can see how that logic works i guess this is that trash boat team uh complete Okay, this person used two pips, so maybe that is why they are ahead of me. So that if you fight multiple times, I guess that means you are ahead. Because myself and Trash both are on the same point, but it seems like they, because they used two, they fought twice here, so they are ahead of me. So anyways, yeah, it's just a nice bragging right to have. It doesn't give you any extra reward or anything like that. But yeah, if you can see for six, this is the team I'm using for six. This is the team that does well for me on six. Not the best team, of course. Uh, but there's some there's some work that can be done on Nereo to do better here and yeah i don't have any other better damage dealer for six than need road at the moment maybe when i get ikina or get veronica or something maybe i will do it better don't know that's not the purpose of this video for this video i'm just going to show you that this team here is better uh, than for example this other team here little jack so uh, Jean and uh, Jean and need will do better for you than little jack and uh andras yeah so let's just check it out let's uh let's check out the gameplay let's go to a battle test start auto yep let's go so you can just see how the gameplay works see the individual damage that need is doing see the individual damage that Jin is doing so my Jin got so much better when i took her to e3 because when she was still on E1, E2, she was doing damage. In fact, with E1, E2, I was still able to one-shot this boss. But, of course, I wasn't doing it as quick as I'm doing it now. What E3 gives you for Jean is it gives you extra hit on that active skill 1. So, that extra hit combined with the extra damage you're going to be doing on those hits, it actually counts a lot. Uh, it, not just against guild boss now, but also against... I use her not just on guild boss. I use her especially in Dwarven runes. Combine... E3 Jin with E3 Nodak and you have a gem in your hands. Like Jin is really like at E3 combined with E3 Nodak. Like I didn't know the difference until I actually started using this thing. Honestly, I didn't know the difference. Like <laughs> it's really crazy. Now that I even think of it, in this match, could I do more damage with Nodak? Like I know that I definitely need Ben for need. Yeah, that starts not sounding weird. I need Ben needs need. Oh no, need needs Ben. <laughs> I'm just having so much fun today. So need road needs Ben. Yeah. So what could help both Nirud, that is the mythic, and uh Jin do more damage is actually not dark. So would I finish this match even faster if I replace if I replace uh, Catherine with Nodak. Hmm. But then again, I won't be getting the counter attack, which also is helping Need. That's uh, helping Need Road to do his own damage. So, and also, one thing that we overlook is that Catherine helps with that cleansing. So, that cleansing means that even when attack down is applied on Need Road, uh, Catherine will help Need Road cleanse that on her next turn. So. 
yeah, I guess it's worth a try. But it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Like I said, you are going to steal one shot. Whether you use Catherine, whether you use Nodak, even if you use uh, Pauline. But what is important for this particular match is how fast you are able to finish the match. You can see right now the boss is on 13 tons. Uh, so yeah, we're not able to get to 20 tons. Uh, so even if I one shot and another person one shot at 20 tons, because I one shot at the boss having less tons, I'm going to rank higher than that person. Like I said, there's no reward for that right now in the game, but I guess that would be, to be cool to have a reward for that at some point. So you can see boss took only 15 tons. Uh, yeah, I one shot the boss in 15 tons, so definitely I will rank higher than uh, those that don't. I think maybe in 20 tons. So another thing that you should know is that let's just check out on that setup. Exactly this same setup, but using uh come up line up. Yeah, thank you. But using heads, you can see that this uh, Catherine, Catherine, Nidri, Nirud, Nirud, Ben, Ben, Nidrod, Nidrod, uh Gene and Hez. So Hez can replace. Let's just skip for Hez and see how many tons it's going to take for Hez. Let's see how many tons it takes for hairs. Hairs takes, oh, 17 tons. Hmm, that's kind of surprising. Of course, it's with one shot. But I know I have been able to do 15 tons with hairs. Or oh, is hairs just having a bad day? Let's do that skip. So, uh, Jean, 17. Hmm. So, so, actually, I've just confirmed to you guys now that hairs is slower than Jean. Let's just, for one more turn for... OG sick. 16 tons. Okay, so his best turn in 3 is 16 tons. But you see that Jean's best turn will be 15. Her worst turn will be 16. Let's just do some skip for Jean. Let's do some skip for Jean and see how much more tons she would need. So 16 tons. You can see that's supposed to be her worst. I don't think I've ever done 17 tons with Jean. 16 tons. Okay. I usually get 15. But it seems something is just 15 exactly exactly so hairs will give you 16 17 tons which is still good because many people will do 20 tons so if you are getting 16 or 17 tons you are still ahead of a lot of people uh, but jean apparently is still better by one ton so when you see that jean is even doing more damage in the match than hairs does uh, she's even doing more damage than need road so <laughs> yeah so jean is quite interesting uh i love the, the fact that she's not limited hero one of the better non-limited legends in the game alongside need road uh yeah so that's the team that's the setup uh my build i don't know if, let's let's check out the builds i don't know if you guys even still need my builds at this point so okay if you are not interested in the builds then yeah this is a nice point to exit the video thanks for watching uh but if you are interested in the builds we can just do a quick run through uh, this is my Catherine. These are stats. These, uh, okay, okay. You may not need the stats, but uh, you will need the uh, preset. So let's just go through the preset first of all. Uh, so this is the preset for Catherine. This is the preset for Nerud. This is the preset for Ben Austin. She had disable Rega Might because it's not needed against the boss. Because <laughs> this doesn't work, it has no effect on the boss. For Nidrod, yeah, this is the preset, basically standard. For Jean, this is the preset, basically standard. So I think it's only Ben Austin that I disable something. Nidrod is standard. Uh, Catherine is pretty much standard, yeah. At, if you have an E3 and above Catherine, yeah, this is basically standard. If you don't have E3 Catherine, then you want to have this first turn on High Spirited instead. The second turn on Solid Guardian. So, but for, for those that have three E3 Catherine and above, everything here will just work for you. Yeah, this is basically it. So, for the stats, for those that have been interested, this is my Catherine. And these are stats. You can just, if you need to take a screenshot, you need to see how those work. This is the equipment, free equipment from campaign. This Everybody should have this equipment unless you broke yours. In that case, I'm sorry. Uh, HP, healing effect, speed, a combat vanguard at level 1. Then this is my Catherine emblem. You can take a screenshot if you need. Uh, yeah, that's basically it for Nirud. This is my Nirud stats. Nothing fancy here. You can see I already have 120 infected, but by the time I get to E1, oh my god, uh, it's going to take me like a month plus, probably almost two months to get uh, Nirud to E1. But honestly, once you get Nirud E1, you are set. E2, E3, she's amazing. E1, you are set. Yeah.
So these are the stats. These are the, act the equipment, the artifact mastery, effect hit, speed, hit grandmaster aura. This is also level one. All my legends are level one. I've said that before. All legend uh, auras are level one. Uh, so this is the emblem. For those that are interested for Benos team, let's quickly run through this stats. This part you could slow it down. You could take screenshots if you need. Uh, I'm just doing this for those that might want to see. So for those that think, oh, this guy just probably has some kind of OP setup, HP, effect hit, speed, yeah, mastery surge, emblem, yeah. Uh, my setup are not OP, very much achievable. <laughs> like you don't need to be an OG to to get this setup. Yep, start equipment. Then artifacts, mastery, effected, speed, emblem. This is it too? I think I could even get more out of my need road if I replace this speed with attack. So. I I am looking for an attack that has comparable effect hit and mastery. Maybe even have some attack rate or something. I don't know, but I think I would do that because I've started uh, my for my main damage dealers. Let me just show you the emblem before I start rambling on. For my main damage dealers, I started removing speed and giving them attack or HP depending on the kind of damage dealers they are. So like for Jin, for example, I've done that. You can see here. This used to be speed. But right now it's HP. I've never maxed it out yet, but I will max it out. So this is now HP, and I found that she's doing more damage with this. So it's your support and your defense heroes that need to have that speed. I know there are some attackers, for example, uh, like Epic Marking. Uh, Marking needs to have that speed. So there are a few damage dealers that need speed, but for most damage dealers, I'm thinking, especially these daughters, Nidrod, Jean, I'm thinking just give them attack and HP. Uh, Jean, HP, Nidrod, attack, and you do more damage or get more mastery or something like that so i'll be doing some rebuilds for some of my damage dealers because i've seen that that works better for me mastery affected mastery expert is the emblem so yeah that's basically it if you enjoy my videos smash the subscribe button guys i will see you on the next one